it's Christy and I'm here with another video for best shoebox packing tips. This one's about personal care items to include in the shoebox. We're all really good at wow items now. We love, those are easy to put in a shoebox. We're pretty good about school supplies now. We've learned a lot about putting sh school supplies in a shoebox. And are we, how are we doing on personal care products? Um, I know I, that was a weakness for me and that's why I have my notes here because I had to do some research and I learned a few things. So what's good and what's not good to include? Do you have some things in your mind that you think I'm going to talk about? Let me know in the comments below if you disagree with me because some of these things are controversial. And at the very end, I'm going to tell you what personal care items not to ever send in a shoebox. So let's start at the beginning. Um, I use the Operation Christmas Child recommendations and the first thing I saw was a comb and brush. Are they recommended? Yes, they are. There's different kinds. This is a fun one with a mirror. This one is good brush. And of course I have examples of two kinds of combs that I love, colorful and wooden keepsake combs. Those are great for a shoebox. So that was an easy one. What about toothbrushes? Do you send toothbrushes in your box? What kind of toothbrushes? Look at this, this is the controversy part. One has a cap and one doesn't have a cap. What kind do you think you should send? Well, this is the controversy. Some of the people that are packing shoe boxes are saying, don't put a cap on because it breeds bacteria and the child will put the cap on a wet toothbrush and it's not gonna be good. And other people say, well, you've got to protect the toothbrush and you have to keep the cap on so that it doesn't get all germy. So the people that say don't um, send a cap are saying, listen, they are not that hygienic there. They even share toothbrushes. It's not that important to have a cap on it. So you do your research and you figure out maybe you can send um, a toothbrush with a cap and they'll take it off and so when it's wet, it's, it won't get moldy. Um, I'm not sure the best answer. So this one is gonna stay controversial and it's be, gonna be for you to figure out. All right, the second thing is washcloths. So I have um, two washcloths here. It's not controversial. It's definitely allowed and encouraged to have washcloths. We like colorful, soft washcloths that are well made. Um, that was easy. Next thing on the list is soap. This is controversial. Okay, here's some examples of soap that I have on hand. They have, this one's in a box. This one's in a plastic soap container. This is the controversy I'm gonna talk about is I don't know if you've noticed, but on the list for Samaritan's Purse on the recommended items, soap is not there any longer. That's uh, because they're having trouble at borders um, as a result of different problems with the soap. I don't know the details, just I know that it's soap that's causing problems. So they are not um, putting it on the do not send list. They are just kind of leaving it in the middle that you can send soap, but when you do send it in its original packaging, make sure it's not expired. Um, this one has um, a plastic box, which is fine. It's still in its ori original packaging, but do not send soap out of the packaging or don't put it in um, a soap saver without a plastic bag. And I don't even know if they will take this anymore because this is not the original packaging. So it's controversial with the soap. Now I know we don't like change, and so um, you can just grab onto the part that says you could still send soap in the original packaging. But for about three or maybe four weeks, I was kind of upset like you might be right now about not sending soap because after all, this is uh, all kinds of germs and people are talking about COVID. We need to stay sanitary more than ever. So we need to be able to send soap. Um, but after about three or four weeks of just not really thinking too much about it and allowing my the Lord really to minister to my mind. Um, and also talking to Michelle, 
I realized that if I did not send, send soap, that's this much space that I could use for other things. Well, you know, um, a flashlight or a radio, solar radio, you can get a little radio that size. That could fit in my shoebox instead of a soap. Hey, that might last a lot longer than a bar of soap. So maybe changing and getting rid of the soap in my boxes will allow me more room to put things that will last longer than soap because soap is short lasting. So anyway, you think about that. I hope that, um, well, you can pray about it and ask the Lord if you should send soap or something else, but it's a new change. And Michelle suspects that, that next year, maybe it'll the soap will be on the do not include list, but it would have been too hard for them to just right away say do not include because you know everybody likes to include soaps in their boxes. All right, the next thing on the list is probably not too um, surprising. It's the nail clippers and nail files. We like to send those with the instructions that you can print out on blessingsinashoebox.com. You can get kits like this. It's just great if um, they've never seen nail file files or nail clippers before to be able to have those instructions for them. Um, next thing that is on the personal care list that I was happy about and surprised is cups and water bottles. Of course, staying hydrated is part of personal care, so sending those in a shoebox is a great idea. Cups and water bottles. The next thing on the list is menstrual pads, and yes, that's for girls 10 to 14. So with menstrual pads, you're always gonna wanna send um, a wet bag with them and also panties. Make sure you send three, four, or five pairs of panties. You could even attach the menstrual pad to one pair of panties and that would be great. And then also sending, this is optional, but the Phil's Naphtha washing soap is a really good idea for um, them to be able to take out blood on their pads. And then also you'll wanna send this instruction guide uh, that you can print out from blessingsinashoebox.com. So that's regarding menstrual pads. And of course, we have uh, always like to remind people that some girls cannot go to school unless or on that week. And so if they have the menstrual pads, they won't have to miss school. So it's a really important thing for them to have. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, but there's a link on blessingsintheshoebox.com for a nice quality set of menstrual pads. They're not all equal. Okay, the next thing that is on the list for personal care that I found were, were socks and shoes. Socks and shoes protect your feet, and uh, a lot of you might know that walking barefoot outside opens your um, you up to having parasites through your feet. They come up through the ground and into your body and make you sick. So having socks and shoes uh, are a great item personal care item to include in a shoebox. The next thing that I saw on a list that I was really surprised about is blanket. So we, of course, include blankies in our toddler boxes, but they're great for older kids too, um, especially if they're soft. It's really nice to be able to include a personal care product of a blanket. Um, next thing, included is bandanas and masks. Michelle mentioned that some children may not be able to attend school without a mask. So, um, of course, I like to include bandanas in all my boxes. It's good for personal care, like with cuts and uh, being able to stop bleeding, a tourniquet, lots of practical things besides a mask uh, using a bandana. Of course, there's the regular masks that you're all familiar with that go behind your ear. And then also I have this one on hand. Um, it's one of those tubular masks. Um, those are fun. This one has a fun animal print on it. So it can go up and down easily for a child to wear. So consider sending a mask or bandana or both in your shoe boxes. Great personal care item. Um, and over here, almost done. Oh, they mentioned for the age five to 14, a couple of different things. A solar powered or hand crank flashlight, which is great. I didn't think of that as a personal care item, but it's great to be able to see when it's dark. Of course, that's personal care. And lip balm. Lip balm is a personal care item that we can include in our shoe boxes. 
and a compact mirror. These all three of these items are for five to 14 year olds. And now I've gotten to the end of my including list and I've gotten to the do not include. The do not include, remember it like this, Michelle said, don't include one use items. So if an item only has one use, um, let's say a Kleenex. These used to be popular, those little packs of travel Kleenex, but couldn't you send, like this is about the size of a, of a pack of Kleenex, maybe a little bit bigger, but you could send something else that would be much more valuable um, in a shoe box that would last longer than uh, these one used items like Kleenex, also Q-tips, also floss picks. Don't send those in shoe boxes. They just are a waste when you can send some other things that would have a much more long lasting value for a child. That is the end of my shoe box. I am running the race to win right up until collection week and I hope that you're also doing the same. I pray that God is glorified with all that we're doing and that the purpose is to bring the gospel to all the children packing the best shoe boxes that we possibly can so that the Lord will get the glory. Don't forget your personal letter and photo. If you can put that in, that really is a super wow. Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know in the comments below if you learned anything new. God bless you. Bye for now.